Adam Rich, former 8 is enough child star dies at 54. Adam Rich, the child actor with a page boy mop top who charmed TV audiences as America's little brother on 8 is enough has died. He was 54. Rich died Saturday at his home in the Brentwood section of Los Angeles, said Lt. Amy Earl of the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner's Office. The cause of death was under investigation but was not considered to be suspicious. Rich had a limited acting career after starring at the age of 8 as Nicholas Bradford, the youngest of 8 children on the ABC hit dramedy that ran from 1977 to 1981. He had several run-ins with police related to drugs and alcohol and sought treatment at the Betty Ford Center in Rancho Mirage. Rich suffered from a type of depression that defied treatment and he had tried to erase the stigma of talking about mental illness, said publicist Danny Durrany. He unsuccessfully tried experimental cures over the years. Durrany said he and others close to Rich were worried in recent weeks when they couldn't reach him. He was just a very kind, generous, loving soul, Darren told the Associated Press. Being a famous actor is not necessarily what he wanted to be. He had no ego, not an ounce of it. Rich discussed his mental health on Twitter and noted in October that he'd been sober for seven years. He said he wasn't perfect, referring to arrest, many stints in rehab, several overdoses, and countless detoxes and relapses, and urged his nearly 19,000 followers to never give up. Human beings weren't built to endure mental illness, Rich tweeted in September. The mere fact that some people consider those to be weak or have a lack of will is totally laughable because it's the total opposite. It takes a very, very strong person, a warrior if you will, to battle such illnesses. Rich posted a picture of himself from his heyday with one-time child star Mickey Rooney. Everyone used to say to me, you're the modern day Mickey Rooney, he tweeted. But when Mickey Rooney told me that himself, it meant a hell of a lot more to me. Nearly 27 years ago, Rich participated in a hoax that Might Magazine published about the actor getting killed in a robbery outside a Los Angeles nightclub in 1996. The article in the little-known magazine was intended as a satire of America's celebrity obsession but fizzled when the spoof was revealed. I think we were a little too subtle. People were not getting the joke, Rich later told the Chicago Tribune. I don't want to be dead. Rich was the little brother to a generation of TV viewers as the mop top son of a newspaper columnist played by Dick Van Patten who has to raise eight children alone after his wife in the show and the actors who played her died during filming of the first season. Rich starred in the series Code Red from 1981 to 82 and voiced the character of Presto the Magician on Dungeons and Dragons from 1983 to 85 according to imdb.com. He reprised his best known role in two 8 is enough TV movie reunions. But the balance of his acting career was in single episode appearances on some of the most popular TV shows of the time. The Love Boat, The Six Million Dollar Man, Silver Spoons and Baywatch. His most recent credit listed on IMDb was playing Crocodile Dundee on Real Comedy in 2003. Personal Life Rich was born on October 12, 1968, the son of Francine and Rob Rich. His family was Jewish. Growing up as a child actor, Rich lived in Granada Hills, Los Angeles with his parents and younger brother. The family briefly lived in Florida where he learned how to act at the local gym. He was active in sports, including baseball, football, bicycle riding, skateboarding, and swimming. He also had an interest in drawing. At age 14, he tried smoking marijuana, and at 17, in 1986, he dropped out of high school. He almost died of a Valium overdose in 1989. In 1991, he was arrested and charged with attempted burglary of a pharmacy. In 1996, there was a media hoax that Rich had been murdered. The story was published in the San Francisco-based magazine Might with Rich's consent. Might writer Dave Eggers included the incident in his memoir, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. In 2002, Rich was arrested for driving under the influence. He was in drug rehabilitation at least three times during his life. As of 2013, he occasionally made personal appearances and marketed script ideas for TV shows and films. Career Rich won the role of Nicholas at the age of 8. 
After Eight is Enough, he had roles in Irwin Allen's short-lived 1981 TV series Code Red on ABC and the 1983 sitcom Gun Shy on CBS. Rich made guest appearances on television series including The Love Boat, Chips, Fantasy Island, The Six Million Dollar Man, Saint Elsewhere, and Baywatch. He also did voice work on the cartoon series Dungeons and Dragons along with Eight is Enough co-star Willie Ames. Rich appeared in TV commercials for Betty Crocker Snacking Cake and Nabisco's Wheatworth Crackers. Adam Rich was an American actor noted for his role as Nicholas Bradford, the youngest son of the television series Eight is Enough, which ran for five seasons, 1977 to 1981. A distinctive feature of his appearance during his years as a child actor was his pageboy haircut which inspired thousands of parents of that era to imitate the look for their young sons. His role on the show led him to be known as America's Little Brother. Eight is Enough is an American television comedy drama series that ran on ABC from March 15, 1977 until May 23, 1981. The show was modeled on the life of syndicated newspaper columnist Tom Braden, a real-life parent with eight children, who wrote a book by the same title. Synopsis the show centers on a Sacramento, California family with eight children from oldest to youngest, David, Joni, Susan, Nancy, Elizabeth, Tommy, and Nicholas. The father, Tom Bradford, based on Tom Braden, played by Dick Van Patten, is a newspaper columnist for the fictional Sacramento Register. His wife, Joan, based on Joan Braden, played by Diana Highland, was a homemaker and took care of the children. In early 1977, Highland was diagnosed with breast cancer, undergoing a mastectomy when doctors discovered the cancer had metastasized. During filming, her health suddenly deteriorated and Highland died on March 27, 1977, having filmed only four episodes. As a result, her character's death was written into the second season of the series. The second season begins in the fall of 1977 with Tom as a widower. He eventually meets and falls in love with Sandra Sue Abby Abbott, played by Betty Buckley, a widowed schoolteacher who comes into the house to tutor Tommy after he breaks his leg in a football game. Abby and Tom marry in one of the series' TV movie broadcasts on November 9, 1977. The role went to Buckley after being approved by network chief Brandon Tartikoff, who felt that the character of Miss Collins, the sympathetic high school gym teacher she had played in the 1976 film Carrie, would translate seamlessly to the series. In the fourth season, in another of the series' TV movie broadcasts in September 1979, both David and Susan get married in a double wedding. As the series progresses, Abby receives her PhD in education and starts a job counseling students at the local high school. Oldest daughter Mary becomes a medical doctor, second youngest son Tommy becomes a singer in a rock and roll band. Main cast and characters Adam Rich as Nicholas Bradford, Dick Van Patten as Thomas Tom Bradford Sr., Diana Highland as Joan Welts Bradford, Season 1, Betty Buckley as Sandra Sue Abby Mitchell Abbott Bradford, seasons 2 to 5. Grant Goodeve as David Bradford. Lanny O'Grady as Mary Bradford. Lori Walters as Joan Joni Bradford. Susan Richardson as Susan Bradford Stockwell. Diane Kay as Nancy Bradford. Connie Newton Needham as Elizabeth Bradford switched to a new married name Needham at start of season 4. Willie Ames as Thomas, Tommy Bradford Jr. Adam Rich, former 8 is Enough child star, last words before he died. I'm selfish, impatient, and a little insecure. I make mistakes. I'm out of control and at times hard to handle. But if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best.